another fun idea where you can just get a piece of paper towel and try to make it all symmetrical with the different designs that you're drawing. And using Crayola markers or any kind of watercolor markers, start drawing your design shape and try to make it like spiraling out from the middle. You can add different designs that you like. And the more color, the better. Trying to imitate looking like tie-dye. And I'm trying to pick colors that I know will blend nicely, which are colors that are next to each other on the color wheel. So I'm starting with my warm tones. I might say I might add some different colors here. I'm doing different shapes. These are all going to actually bleed into each other, so don't worry if it's not perfect. And with most of my blending activities, I really do recommend having a spray bottle because you can kind of control that a little more. But if you don't, you can also just use a dab um, water. Now, some people also do this with a, with a coffee filter, and that has a really cool effect because it has like the bumps and the ridges. But I am not a coffee drinker, so I do not have coffee filters. So I am just kind of doing it on a paper towel. All right. So the next little step is I would actually get a water bottle and spray, but since I don't, I'm going to get some of this, put it in some water. I'm going to just start dribbling it around. Now the spray bottle, what it does is it mists it on, and I'm just kind of flicking the water. It mists it on so you can have a little bit more control. And so this is just going to be a little more wet, which means that it might just... Um, break apart a little bit easier, but you can see all those different colors now starting to blend with each other. So I'm just kind of dripping it down, dripping it down. And like I said before, we can just keep it like this, or we can take a piece of computer paper and get the computer paper wet and rub it on top. So I'm gonna do both, so I have both to use. All right, so now I'm gonna take this paper and put it on top. You can see that it's already transferring through because it was really wet. And you can see how cool that looks. I'm just kind of smushing it down. If I needed to add more water, I could. Um, and I might even be able to get two out of these. And then I pull it across with my paper and that neat. Um, it's still a little wet. So I may just go ahead and try doing one more. And I'm gonna again, I'm gonna save my paper towel and then save all these little pieces of art so I can use them again later. Very cool. All right, hope you like this video. If you did, please like and subscribe to my channel. Thanks and see you soon.